Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel and it also helps us reach others who want to test their math skills with these types of test questions. So this will be our 10th part in our math skills series. And what we are tasked with this one is that we have to find the red or the area of the red region shown below this curve right here. And we are shown or told that this curve is of the value y equals kx squared. And we are given dimensions in the x-axis of 12 centimeters from an origin point and then five centimeters vertically in the y direction from the origin point. And we're also told that this little white circle in here has a diameter of two centimeters. So how do we do this? Well, we are going to use direct integration to get the total area under this curve of y equals kx squared. So once we get the total area underneath the curve, we can just simply subtract out the area of a circle, which is pi d squared over four, and then we can get the area shown in red. So before we can integrate though, we have to determine what is this k value. And during this integration process, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to do it in variable format. So it'll be a little bit easier. So <clears throat> I'm just going to have my x dimension of 12, centimeter, 12 centimeters equal to a, and then my y dimension here, uh, five centimeters, be equal to a variable b. So when x is equal to a using this equation and then popping out a value, it looks like, well, b is what y is having to be equal to. So whenever a is plugged in here for x, it pops out a value of b for y. So knowing this, I can just plug into my equation here where I would have b equals k times a squared. Well, k is just going to be b over a squared. So my total equation then becomes y is equal to b over a squared times x squared. All right, so now that I have k, <clears throat> what I can do is that now I can integrate this equation to get the area. So the area, the total area underneath the curve, including the white circle, is found by integrating my y with respect to x. Well, my y equation is just b over a squared times x squared with respect to x is what I'm integrating with. And I'm going from zero to a in the x direction. Those are my limits. So when I integrate this, what it pops out to be is the constant of b over a squared remains the same. And then x squared becomes one third times x to the power of three. And of course that is going to be from zero to a. Well, let's plug in a wherever I have x here because I'll just be subtracting off the zero. So no, don't include that. So I'm gonna end up with b over a squared times a cubed over three from the one third x cubed. Well, the a's, We'll mainly drop out there left with one in the numerator. So we end up with our total area below this curve is equal to b times a over three. Okay, well, now that we did that in variable form, let's scroll down just a little bit here. If I can scroll down just a little bit, there we go. All righty. So now I'm just gonna plug in what I had originally for x and then what I had originally for b here which what we would have is our total of x equals a, which is 12 centimeters, and b is equal to y, which is my five centimeters. So plug that in down here. So my total area under my curve would be the b, which is five centimeters, times the a, which is 12 centimeters, all divided by three, which gives me a total of 20 centimeters squared. Now, I have to subtract out this little white circle right here. So the area of my circle, very simplistic to find here. That is just going to be pi times my diameter over four. Well, I was told that my diameter is two centimeters at the start of the problem. So it would be pi times two centimeters squared over four, which is nice and easy because that just pops up to be pi centimeters squared. All righty. So the total area in red will be my 20 centimeters squared minus off pi centimeters squared. And if you want to leave it as an exact solution, that would be your exact solution. Or if you want to just go ahead and solve that out, 
it gives you 16.86 centimeters squared. So whenever you have a curve of a line or a curve of a shape denoted by some kind of equation, integrating that equation will give you the total area under that line in your boundary conditions. And then you can just subtract off any other shape that is inside that area. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned a new math skill from it. And if you want to test your abilities even further, please check out the other videos under on our channel under this math skill sections. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.